Today, our guest is Sana, joining us all the way from Finland. Sana, I understand you just returned home from your Route 66 trip. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Uh, we just came home about two days ago, and uh, I'm feeling a bit jet lag, but uh, I'm glad to, that we have this interview right now. <laughs> Great. I'm so glad that you're taking time to join us. Now, before we talk about your recent trip, let's go back in time some. What initiated your interest in Route 66? And being from Finland, how long ago and how did you even become aware of Route 66? Yes, the Route 66 is very, very famous here in Finland. Also, many people like a dream, that trip, they like a dream that when I'm like a 50 or 60 years old, then, then I go this trip. And uh, we are we are not the 50s yet, but uh, we decided like a, one year ago that we will have a trip to the USA and the Road 66 was our like a dream. And we have the last summer, we have a, a same kind of vacation in Norway on the Norway mountains. And we very love the idea of the road trip. And, and that's why we, are, we went to the USA now. <laughs> So what was the draw specifically about Route 66? Was it the culture? Was it the landscape? Expand on that. I first thought it's, it's the land, landscapes. Then I realized that uh, it's the ro road itself, like uh, just drive the road. But then I realized that uh, it wasn't even any of those. It was the people we met. Uh, with the road and the conversation with the people and and I have never been so friendly places that I have been in Route 66. I have may, never met so friendly people that we met as a family uh, on the Route 66. Now, was this your first trip to America? Yes, it was our first year trip. And was there any kind of a uh, culture shock? Was there any surprises when you first landed? Uh, when we first landed to the Chicago, uh, of course, Chicago is very big city and uh, we drive by a taxi to our hotel. Uh, then I thought that, oh my God, where I have put my family into and uh, how will we like survive this all and, and, and was I a bit out of crazy to come here, but I think it passed very fast and we like uh, felt ourselves welcomed. So. so you flew, where did you fly from? You said you flew into Chicago. Where did you fly out of? Uh, we have a tri direct flight from Helsinki. So it was very good as a family to have a direct flight. So you say as a family, who was included in the, the trip? Yeah. Uh, my husband, Rauli, and then we have uh, uh, three children. Uh, Helmi is 10 years old, uh, Nelly is uh, 12, uh, and the Mauno is 15 years old. The majority of viewers that are watching this have never been on Route 66. They may know about it, but they may have never done it themselves. Is there a particular place that you visited landscape, a business, anything that just stood out special to you as a memory? Uh, yes, there are. And yes, there is. There are not because there are so many great places we visited. And when you are on the road, you kind of like a, are in the mood of road trip. You, you travel all day, then you go to the hotel, have a next morning breakfast and you get to the car again but uh but i must say the beautiful places were a lot but maybe the side trips to the monument valley was mm -hmm. amazing uh of course uh the the landscape was so beautiful but also i love the texas and amarillo there was this very friendly people there and uh, Williams town was so beautiful. It's, it was so like a, so rude, rude, rude 66. 
Great. Yeah, I, I really like Williams as well. Now, did do you have a particular story, like an occurrence, that anything happened on Route 66, like a little story in itself that you'd like to share? Yeah. Uh, I think when you first like started the road, like a try to St. Louis and uh, then to the Oklahoma and uh, but after that I think the atmosphere kind of changes when you go near to Texas uh, and uh, like uh, it was so like uh, every every state was uh, of course a bit different but uh, when you like uh, was went to the Texas I think it was the most like a uh, uh, uh what i liked and there was this big thunderstorm there uh we tried to the thunderstorm and it was quite a scary and we were very tired and uh uh when we went to the amarillo after thunderstorm and it was uh, like a uh, 9 p.m 9 30 p.m but then we decided to go to this big texan restaurant to have this amazing dinner so uh, i think that was like a very good day that you have some kind of uh, thunderstorm and then this very good warm places on the Friday night, a lot of people. So I like that experience. So you went to the big Texan restaurant? Yep. Okay. Did you eat the 72 ounce steak? No, we did it, but there was one, one people who tried to do it. <laughs> Now, was there any surprises along the route? Like, I didn't expect this, any kind of surprises? Uh, one thing what surprised me that how long we were alone. So there was a not a lot of no other cars. So when, when I looked back, there was no cars on the front, no cars. So we were very alone and it was some kind of like a peace of mind into drive alone there. <laughs> oh, nice. Now, do you think you'll ever come back and experience Route 66 again in the future? Uh, I'm sure of it. I think we will back in the four or five years again. And now that we like to have a good look of the whole places, I think next time when we come, we just concentrate in the one sections not to go whole, whole road because it takes a lot of time. <laughs> it does take a lot of time. And what section would you like to come back and do again? I think maybe that we will like start from California and try like a eastbound, maybe mm -hmm. of course to the Williams. And uh, we explore the New Mexico and the Texas areas more closely. Now, when you're in Williams, by any chance, did you take the train to the Grand Canyon? Uh, I thought about it, but uh, we didn't because we just had a couple of days we on the Grand Canyon. So mm -hmm. maybe next time. Yeah. So do you have any kind of positive of reviews of motels, hotels, restaurants, points of interest? Does anything stand out like you could really highly recommend anything? Uh, maybe many, uh, of course, uh, the Monument Valley was very good. It, it's like a side trip. Uh, one restaurant, this Galaxy restaurant in Blackstaff was very, very good dinner. What was diner. the name of it again? Uh, Galaxy. Galaxy in Flagstaff. Okay, yeah. good. Okay. Do you have any suggestions for travelers that have not traveled Route 66 yet? Any kind of suggestions or tips from an experienced traveler yourself that you could share? Yeah, I think uh, when you when you plan your uh, trip and uh, uh, how do how do you like stay on the nights, do not uh, plan on the day that you will like a try over 200 miles. I think 150 miles is very good day trip, mm -hmm. maximum to 200 miles. Then you can like a, like a see and relax like a, every, every 
little coast town and uh, abundant places and you can like uh, travel without not going to the interstate at all so i think that's our like next next trip that we are going to have maximum like 150 miles uh, driving per day you know i totally agree because when my wife and i and our friends travel route 66 we may only go 80 to 100 miles an entire yeah. day but at the end of the day we've had a great day yes exactly so do you have any closing thoughts that you'd like to share with the audience uh, I think many people like a dream of this trip and they like to talk about it. They talk about their friends and uh, families, but uh, eventually I don't know if they are like uh, really going to do that. But please do it. It's so, so like mind blowing experience. And so I encourage everybody to wrote that trip. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. And for the viewing audience, even though it's only 1230 p.m. here, just a little afternoon, you actually took time out of your evening. It's getting close to nine o'clock at night for you in Finland. So thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to help us with this. No problem. Thank you.